Let's talk about contact details on the end of your showreel. Should you put them on? And if you do put them on, what should they be? Um, I think you should have a showreel with contact details for sure for your website, for sharing on LinkedIn, for sharing on social media, for sending out to clients. And I think you need to keep your um, contact details incredibly simple. I would just have your website address, ideally, I think, um, because that's easier for someone to remember than trying to remember or note down a phone number or, you know, and I've seen so many showreels where people put their Twitter hashtag that, or whatever it's called, it's not Twitter, their Twitter name, their LinkedIn name, their um, email address, their phone number, their website. Keep it simple, straightforward, um, your website address, nice and easy to remember. Now, if you're working with bureaus, bureaus don't really want your contact details anywhere on anything that they're going to share with their own clients because bureaus are constantly uh, trying to get clients to stick with them once they've recommended a speaker and not cut, try and cut them out. Uh, that's another topic which um, I think I'm going to have to talk about at some point as well. But um, so for a, a bureau, you shouldn't have the contact details on. And it's actually very easy if you've got the contact details at the end of the reel uh, with a still uh, that you can just replace that with a blank or just chop it off, making sure you're not ruining the musical end to your um, reel. But if you have um, a, an aspiration to work with a bureau, definitely have one without a contact details. Or if you're already working with bureaus and they've asked you for a new reel, take the contact details off because they will if you don't and, and it may ruin the ending of your video. Okay, hope that helps.